I know it's just my first day, but a little advice. Don't advertise the crime you're about to commit. <laughs> I don't know. This is, I mean, the episode just started, but I just... What's up with her, her hair? Like, I get you supposed to represent that, oh, she's, this is her first years as, like, you know, in the crows and stuff. And you have to, supposed to show that, hey, you know, she's younger. But I don't know. I find something funny that her, their way of showing that she's a younger, you know, Sophie is that her hair showed her in all, you know, feathered. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, out of all the things that go down, I just felt like that was a little bit, a little bit funny. I don't know. But, okay, let's continue. No weapon has ever matched wits with the master. Tell me how you did it. Or, please, you must know. You have the rest of your life in here to figure it out. I'm guessing this will be some... Uh, it's, I'm assuming it's a Batman character. I'm not completely versed in Batman. I'm guessing this is some guy that, you know, sets up, like, something where people have to solve puzzles or something. And he says no one's ever solved his puzzle before Sophie. Not even Batman? And <laughs> I don't know. I, I find that a little odd. Again, it's Batwoman, so I'm guessing they they this show has a tendency of elevating their woman above any other man in every other way, just cause. Um, and that's not just me just again, just poking fun at women or anything. It's just that's what the show does. It's blatant about it and it's never subtle. <laughs> So, I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm prejudging. But, again, it's Batwoman. So, no, who knows? Maybe I'll be surprised. What the... <laughs> that was incredibly easy. Wait, did he just get out of jail by the witness? He killed one guard. I mean, even if you killed one guard, the cell was open and all that. First off, why was the cell still open? That I'm pretty sure the protocol is once you step into a cell, the, the door closes behind you until you have like the inmate cuffed and then you walk him back out. But I don't, I don't know. Just, whatever. But of course he gets out that easily because all you have to take out is one guard and you're home free. You know, let alone getting across the, the courtyard and past the snipers. But whatever. <laughs> I will say, the, the quality on the show, as far as fighting, has improved, but Ryan, is, as a character, still seems to be kind of frustrating and annoying. Just that comment about her saying, like, oh, it would be the fun of leaving someone conscious to plan a tracker, you know, shows how unheroic she is and unlikable. I love Matt Pearson. There are three bones in your ankle. If I break two, how many? Three. Hey, the hero is here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know. I also want to comment real quick. Him saying that she has a code, she really doesn't. <laughs> you know, like even Kate Kane really didn't ride that code thing pretty well. She blatantly shows that she really has no problem with killing anybody. She just so far hasn't had a reason to kill anybody. But she was all about killing uh, Alice. You know, the fact that she never got to or decided not to is still ridiculous to me. Um, but she has not really established having the code, you know. And last episode, if I remember correctly, she left Alice for dead. You know, she blatantly let a bad guy, a bad guy go. And the same process just to allow them to kill Alice. So, and now that, you know, Hero Cop's back. I call him Hero Cop because as far as we know from the scenes that he's been in, he's done nothing wrong. The only things wrong that they say he's done wrong are the things that they've implied he's done wrong or say they said his motivation, but you haven't really seen that motivation. So far, he's just been trying to do his job. So, Hero Cop. Back to Hook away. Kind of in the middle of something. Kind of gonna shoot you in the face. Hands in the air. Now. He even knows to shoot her in the face. Gosh, how are they gonna ruin this character? <laughs> Why you guys suck. And here we go. It's not just because you don't care about 99% of the people in the city. It's because you legit suck at your job. Tracker on his boot, moron. Guy had no idea. He would have led me back to Black Mask. I would have had the upper hand and the most dangerous man in Gotham 
would have been behind bars. Instead, your alpha ass to show up late. First off, who is she? <laughs> I don't, like just her scolding them about not properly doing their jobs and all this stuff. Like Ryan sucks at her job. The entire first half of season two is her be, just being irresponsible and ignoring a clear bullet wound infection, which turned out to be radiation poisoning that nearly killed her only because she cared about not losing her position as Batwoman, which she should have plenty of times because of her stupid double standards that she has. Second, she's blaming these cops because they're saying, oh, you showed up late and if you would have, but wait, so you're judging them? Like the whole point was that you were going to put a track on one of them to lead you back to Black Mask. But if they would have showed up early or, you know, whatever, that plan still would have failed because they would have been there and arrested everybody. So I I don't get what you're scolding them for. And when they do show up to do their jobs, you're not scolding them for doing their jobs because now your whole little tracker plan didn't work, which maybe it would have worked if you would have planted on all the other guys you knocked out, like Luke said, and kept them conscious and st- strapped the tracker to them. But I don't know, Batwoman, you probably didn't think about that because <laughs> you suck at your job. Oh, that's right. Jacob, he's on that stuff, man. Got crackhead Jacob right now. Friends? <laughs> now that conniving, pointy-eared manipulator led me down the garden path of partnership and trust. Who need to stab me in the back? I mean, she's right, but also it's Alice, so I don't care. Alice should have been dead like last season. <laughs> but, so or her saying this one is ironic. Because that's her whole thing. She's a psychopath. She's a serial killer. But at the same time, she's right. <laughs> that's, that's the messed up thing. Until Alice is behind bars. But you know what really works? <laughs> Thank you, Black Mask. <laughs> Thank you, Black Mask. I thought you were working late. I was, but then drama showed up and you were in my night, so I got out early. Why is Trophy here? We were just hanging out. That's the bit name. She's just so against the crows and police in general that she just... Her bias is just so annoying at this point. I mean, even Batman didn't really trust cops, but he somewhat respected them, at least the ones that he knew that were, you know, weren't corrupt. You know, he knew there were corrupt ones, but he was very well knew that they weren't corrupt either, so... I got one. Never have I ever compromised my values to supporting white supremacist organizations. Mm. Uh, this is not working. No, 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 no. Hang on. Uh, cringy. First off, white supremacist organization? Do you realize the crows is like a mixed group of people of like former military and green berets right (laughs) and on top of that they've really have done nothing racist throughout the entire show you can say well there's been corrupt cops actually the one of the few corrupt cops that we did see well corrupt crows to be more specific for out of the crows was a black man after I was recruited to the Crows, I was put on Tommy's personal detail. He paid me 10 grand to rough Lucia up. And then like, you know, they had like one white crow that kind of bumper bumped that whoa, that wolf spider guy who really this how the scene was shot. looked like it wasn't even that bad, but whatever. Um, but other than that, like <laughs> white supremacist organization? Again, this was a big Ryan. She's not even fun like Kate Kane. She's just annoying. Most venomous caterpillars in the world. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, Wait. But according to the internet, a single caterpillar isn't lethal. So we're good, right? Wait. I don't think we're the target. And I don't think this bottle came from your boys. Boy, you've been drinking that bottle, right? So, what, does that mean all three of them are poisoned? 
I don't know. They were very casually just like they didn't really like immediately respond to it either. Like and also what well, they didn't know where that alcohol came from from sure. They just assumed it came from the girls. They just the alcohol just popped up at their doorstep. Like was was there any reason why the crows would have given Sophie alcohol at all? As far as I understood, she's not been on the best terms with them. Like they've been saying that she, you know, supports bad women too much and all that stuff. So really, this is her own dang fault. <laughs> Ever watch Quiz Bowl back in the day? The host Arthur Brown got fired and went on a murdering spree. Along the way, he laid out clues for law enforcement to figure out where his next kill would be. <laughs> Our main villain used to be a knockoff Jeopardy host. <laughs> okay, that's that's his backstory. No wonder he, he seems so freaking goofy, you know, the top. He, oh my gosh. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. Talked to everyone for weeks. Called himself Crew Master. Pass. Arthur Brown escaped Blackgate today. Of course he escaped Blackgate. Stabbed one guard and somehow was able to clear the entire place. You jailed to trace this call and come rescue me. That's the wrong number. Daddy. <laughs> That's funny. I find that funny. It's meant to be like tragic, but it's funny. I mean, it's not funny that Jacob's a drug addict. I mean, I actually kind of like Jacob because he's the only one that never put up with most of the BS in the show. But... Just, just nothing going right for Alice is just awesome. And yeah, and who is she? She has the goal to call Jacob, the man that she set up as, you know, framed for his own wife's murder. <laughs> killed his his wife. I mean, his wife wasn't a good person either, but killed her. Set him up for his murder. Set her, him up for her murder. Um, tried to murder him several times, like. <laughs> So yeah, I think this was the proper response whether or not he was a drug addict or not. How did you stop it? The truth? I didn't. All work he's spending here on the tip line. And on my very first day, a girl called in frantic, told me about the puzzle, then told me what it meant. I was promoted to field agent the very next day. Oh. Because you lied and took credit for something you didn't do. Okay, uh, that, was, that was surprising. Okay, yeah, she didn't solve it. She got a tip from someone else who did. Okay, I was wrong there. I'll admit. Not wrong about everything else stupid in the show so far. No, just that, not that one particular thing. So, you got one point, show. One point. Spider and spider eats black. Let's find out. Whoa, well, look at you were shooting. Pretty sure I just did. Anyone want to discuss the five shots of tequila you down tonight, Mary? Are you a marksman? Someone who probably holds a high score in duck hunt or a military marksman. Unless you have some sharpshooter skills you'd like to disclose. Go for it. Thank you. Now back up. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Why is she questioning this? She's not a marksman herself. It makes no sense why she's even questioning that. Bomb goes off. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Any questions? Nope. Actually, I, I need to applaud uh, Sophie, Sophie right there. Because, yeah, Ryan was being freaking uh, idiot. <laughs> like, questions like, oh, who were you going to shoot them, Ryan? Because the last time I remember, you couldn't hit somebody with a battering. So, yeah, it. Again, the show doesn't. It's not a quirk or doesn't make her endearing. She she's just annoying. <laughs> Wait, hold on. They're just assuming that's the cure. That he left. Like, okay, I guess you could assume maybe, oh, he's not gonna be not truthful, I guess, because he's wanna place fair or something, but that's a risky move to just like Take the thing the bad guy left saying it's secure and giving it to his victim. You know? Especially since he had the magical cure-all plant back at the cave. So, I'm surprised I haven't synthesized anything from that yet. Um, so, and don't give me the whole, well, you can't synthesize. You can synthesize the first generation from it. So as long as you keep this, a, a bit of that plant around, 
get some of those seeds or something. I don't know. I don't see why you couldn't do it. But I don't know. Look, we'll, we'll see. Never is. He deserved it. Oh dear. The court for Big Wig. He crossed the line and I had to make sure he never. Wait, how? Because the thing is, this is Kate Kane who's been hypnotized to think that she is Blast Mask's daughter. Even if they told her the story of, hey, you did this to this person one time during like, her little hypnotist indoctrination thing, how could they imply the feelings that she has about this thing into it? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. I'm you. You. Nope. Right. I have to admit, I was not expecting you to get that. Uh, first letter of every answer to recluse a badass lady spoke of her name. Clever. Sherry, Gianna, Amy, Pepper, Hermione. Great. Uh, yeah, so if we are through the fourth way section of the night, can you tell them how to... Yeah. It's actually pretty boring. I'm not really interested in most of these people's plots. And you... We gotta get out of here. ...are standing on an explosive pressure plate. No, it's white sensitive if you step off the floor. <laughs> she thought just blow everybody up. <laughs> Poor man's version of Cluemaster, this questionable wordsmith turns green with envy when compared to me, the premier enigmatist. Is it A, Joker, B, Poison Ivy, or C, the Riddler? Riddler! Really? That was, that was like BuzzFeed worthy of a question, <laughs> okay? Yeah, this, this episode suddenly just, it started off really ridiculous and kind of fun to make fun of, now it's kind of just boring. I was planning on it, but... No, it's fine enough. <laughs> Uh, long story. Oh yeah, his dad died. <laughs> That's right. Be awkward. Okay, now we're just focusing on Luke having a love interest. It's even more boring. I'm really sorry, Luke. What? What? First of all, weak. Luke is so weak that he got knocked out by one hit <laughs> from this chick. We need to do something. Easy to say from the cheap seats. You know this pressure plate was meant for you, right? You know there's a terrorist roaming somewhere in Gotham who needs to be stopped, right? Hey, okay. The arguing is not helping. She is the one that Yeah, it's just kind of annoying at this point. Because not trusting me means you both die. I will never trust a crow, especially you. I know you're Batwoman, Ryan. Yeah, you suck at your job. What? I don't think that this is about protecting your identity. Really? Then what is this about? That you hate the crows so much, you can't think rationally you think your history with them, and i know how awful they were to you gosh she sucked oh. a bomb brian and you would rather watch it kick down with me on it than trust a legitimately good person one of the few times that mary's actually making sense her and luke make sense most of the time it's just ryan always talks them down or in the past seasons kate Always talk them down. They'll submit to her reasoning as the proper reasoning. But no, no, she's completely right. And I know, I guess in this case, they're trying to, you know, actually make them right in this case. So that's why it's actually playing out a little bit better. But yeah, it just, it, stating the obvious doesn't make Ryan a bad character, though. Even if her learning this lesson here, it's probably not going to make her a better character. She, she's going to be the, still the same kind of character that's annoying virtual over virtuous do no wrong type person again unless we remember last episode she left somebody to die someone that we want to die but she left somebody to die and left the criminal on the loose so <laughs> i taught you i nurtured you i made you in my image why would you betray me we're the same you're going back to prison <laughs> she think was going to happen like for and what hold on that doesn't explain why she knocked Luke out like at all like at all like I thought maybe there's gonna be a reason like oh in order to do this she had to go alone and something like that 
But no, she solved the puzzle that was her childhood home, got there, and her plan was just to simply call the police in front of her dad. Wow, for a smart person, she's dumb. Luke actually getting stuff done. Don't see that often. So they really didn't solve anything. Luke's the one that got it all done. Okay. Known this guy for about a date, but you know, whatever. Kiss. A bit fast. You know him for about a day. <laughs> All right, I mean, I'm actually generally kind of happy for Luke. Luke always gets the short end of the stick in the show, but he was a hero this episode. I found the drive assist bat tech under the steering console. I had it analyzed and replaced before you even noticed it was missing. It contained recorded audio of you telling Luke you wish you were in the Batmobile. Yeah. I'm not your enemy, Ryan. Amen, you're not Batman. We're just brushing over. She just... Dang. No, you're an idiot and incompetent. You expose your identity very easily. And that's all you have to say about that? Is it before she even noticed it was missing? What? Why didn't you immediately get... You know, why am I questioning this show? Are you special? Your eyes. The heck? Like how? <laughs> literally, it went from it being kind of like this, like 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 it looks. <laughs> what the heck happened there? Like literally, it was just like a little like rubber mask thing that she was holding like this, and it suddenly like it was just bloop, on her face, and there's just her face now. It was weird. Like there was no seamless transition at all. That, that was just stupid. And oh, she could tell it's Kate by the fact that she has her father's eyes. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have blue eyes. I don't, whatever. This, let's just finish this episode. Kate. Oh, that's it. Okay. So yeah, that was another episode of Batwoman. Um, honestly, <laughs> Uh, this is probably one of the more boring episodes of Batwoman, honestly. I mean, in the beginning it was, you know, and my, when I say boring, I mean not fun to, like, make fun of. Because there was cringy stuff in there, but at a certain point, it just got boring. Like, all this stuff with, like, Luke and his first day... Of meeting girlfriend <laughs> like literally like by the end of the day I know like you know trauma brings people together but like she's smooching on his face after like one day you know she's literally known him for like a few hours <laughs> um, but that stuff was kind of boring even though like, I was happy for Luke in the end because literally he's one of the few sometimes most of the time competent characters in this show um, that stuff was boring the stuff with Ryan was just frustrating like Kate was dumb in her own ways, but it was it was fun to like take on her cringe and her dumbness. You know, Ruby Rose, she had something about her. You know, uh, it's like the opposite of like The Rock's charisma, where his charisma could take crap material and just make it better sometimes. Um, Ruby Rose, she had like reverse charisma. You know, like. Like, kind of like the reverse flash has like the reverse speed force. Her charisma is almost like she takes crappy material and makes them fun. Not like stupid popcorn fun, but just like laughable fun. Like, it's laughable how, how she performs this stuff, you know, to the point that you hate Kate Kane, but you love to hate her. You know? She's the most... She's the greatest unintentional villain of 
Batwoman season one that we've ever had. It's almost like it's like Joffrey, you know, except unintentionally bad. <laughs> but here with Ryan Wilder, maybe because her actress is just a better actress than Ruby Rose. But the fact that she does these lines with all the utmost seriousness um, and actually probably competent when it comes to her acting skills, she just comes off as just irritating and frustratingly just moronic. <laughs> I mean, her, and they address it in the episode, but I feel like this is not the last time we're going to go through this whole Crows thing. Because she just says things that make no sense. And the show wants you to believe that there's some truth to the things that she is saying. But you never really see these things. You get hints of, you know, maybe some of the crows, you know, overstepping their authority. Sure. But it's one thing to say, well, some of these crows are overstepping their authority and calling them a white supremacist organization. Yes, because we all know those white supremacist organizations that are made up of both, you know, white and black people. <laughs> I mean, if I look closely, I'll probably find a few other races in there, too, you know, because, you know, a white supremacist organization is made up of ex-military and Marines and Green Berets, <laughs> you know, uh, it's <sighs> that line just bothered me so much. It was the worst line of the episode and <sighs> the whole crofy thing. She always called her crofy like like somehow clever. <laughs> the little game show segment of it. uh was stupid because the questions they were asking, he was asking, was like something you will find like on a BuzzFeed article. Like, hey, here, can you name all the Batman villain facts? You know, that. And again, it, they said he went to jail five years ago and it said that Sophie, which turned out it wasn't Sophie, it was his daughter, solved a riddle, a, 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 a riddle that no one else could solve. And I'm trying to think, was this after Batman left? I get would have been in that time frame. I'm not sure. I, maybe that's to the detriment of the show that they don't clarify that. Because again, it makes no sense for Batman not to find him if that is the case. But yeah, this episode is mostly boring than anything, and that's what's disappointing. Th this first season, the second season. I mean, the second season. One of the things about this season that I have to say is actually worse. Makes it worse than the first season, is that it's not intentional, but. The first season, while it was bad, badly written and everything, it was fun because it was so, it was written so badly that it, it was something it was something you could watch on like, you know, you know you have bad movie nights. This is something like, hey, this is a bad bad TV show night or something, you know? Hey guys, you know the episode of Bad Woman's coming on tonight, you guys come together and roast this thing? Yeah. That was what the first season was. This season, the first few episodes were maybe kind of that. But now it's kind of just diving into a lot of just boring stuff. A lot of boring character stuff. The problem is you don't care about the characters that much. Um, the characters I do like, I like them mainly because they're the only ones that sometimes make sense. But most of the time they just get overshadowed by the main character or other characters that they want to prop up. Um, like the fact, even though Luke, Luke's the one that saves the day in this one. Which again, kind of shows how incompetent Ryan is. And just, as a, she, she's not even a detective. Actually, at least with Kate, they try to imply that she was a great detective, even though she has no credibility as a great detective. They don't even do that with Ryan. Ryan's not a detective at all. So Luke's really the one that solved everything at the end here. But having that whole moment where that chick just knocks him out with a bottle, I guess, and it, it was in one hit, I don't know. It just, it just something funny about that it just shows how weak Luke is. But also the fact that he plays, I was like, oh, you're trying to protect me. Protect you from what? Like, yeah, her father's dangerous. We all know this. They could have said, hey, he's going to be at my father's, at my childhood home. Let's come over the plan here to see how we can, you know, catch him there or something. But knocking him out and her plan was to simply just talk to him and then call the police right in front of him, thinking nothing was going to happen. After, you know apparently knocking Luke out because she thought he was going to be too dangerous. I don't know. That's, <laughs> yeah, this episode, I don't know. Oh, and that Alice figuring out that, you know, Cersei Sionis is actually Kate Kane uh, at the end. That's <laughs> her way of finding it out was just silly. 
you have our father's eyes. There's a lot of people who have blue eyes in the world, you know, but again, that's just the writing of this show. That's my thoughts on it. You know, if you stuck with it, you know, with me during this reaction, let me know what you thought about this episode, this season, the show, if you watched any of it. Um, I know it has a third season coming. I might do my, uh, more episodes. I, I, if I do, if I watch more episodes, I'm going to record myself doing it because I'm not going to waste my time just watching it in silence. Uh, <laughs> I have to vent it some way. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of it. Like, subscribe, share. The more likes, the more the algorithm might put my content out there. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.